What's going on guys, it's Alex, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up call tracking for your Google Ads account so you can properly track calls as conversions and get that data back into Google Ads on the back end and optimize your campaigns for success. By the way, before I jump into it, if you do need help with Google Ads with setting up conversion tracking or you just have any questions about performance, click the link down below, book a call with me, happy to take a look at your campaign and answer any questions you might have. Anyways, let's just jump right into it and move this out of the way. So here in your Google Ads dashboard to get started, and this is what we're gonna be tracking, this phone number click right here, uh, or if somebody does click on this one, right? If anybody clicks on a phone number on your website and it results in a call, you wanna be tracking that. So let's go to my test site, go to my test ad account. Go ahead up from your Google Ads, select goals, and you wanna create a conversion action, right? You have a bunch of different conversions you can track. What we do want to track is calls, specifically calls to a number on your website and then calls to a phone number on your website. Click continue. Now, Google is asking us to set up the tag, uh, but we have to add all this data first. So you can just write call from Google ads on website, right? However you want to name it is completely fine. If you do know what a call is worth to you, like if you're if every call is worth a specific value, you know you're closing one in three or whatever, you can you can add a value here, right? So you can add a specific value for each conversion, uh, but for the purpose of this video, uh, and just what I typically do, is do not use a value for this conversion action, just because it's really hard to predict how much each call is actually worth. And then for count, because you only want it to count once, so if someone clicks the ad and clicks your phone call twice, they call you twice. You don't want to count it as two conversions. You just want to count it as one conversion. Just go ahead and select one. Now, for destination number, this is very important. Google tells you enter the phone number callers should reach when they call for your website. And keep in mind, these two have to match, right? So go to your website and then just literally copy how the number looks on the site. Paste that in, which just happens to match this. It's really good luck. And the display number is the phone number people currently see on your site and that Google will replace. So Google does replace the number so that they can track it properly with their own number and track data, uh, but it doesn't affect you at all. Enter the display number, right? They need to match and this is perfect. Now for call length, I like to do 45 seconds. Just because somebody's on the phone with you for 45 seconds, you know, it's a lot more likely to be a deal or a positive conversation, positive outcome rather. Uh, than if it was 12 seconds or 15 seconds. But if you need people on the phone for two minutes to qualify for something, uh, you can just go with 120 seconds, whatever you want to add. Click through, uh, uh, th click through conversion window is fine. And then attribution data driven is also fine. So from here, click on create and continue. Keep in mind with this strategy, you will need to have Google Tag Manager set up. It's really easy to set up if you haven't set it up already. Uh, so you can just YouTube that if you don't have it set up on the website, but you will need this uh, you will need it if you want to be tracking calls properly. So uh, for the conversion action, for the tag setup, we want to use Google Tag Manager. Now Google does have, uh, it's giving us a conversion ID and a conversion label, and they're telling us to make sure you add the, uh, the conversion linker tag on the page, and I'll just show you guys how to do all that. So with this information here, go to Google Tag Manager, click on Tags, Right, you can see I do have the conversion linker set up. So the first thing you should actually go ahead and do is set up the conversion linker. Uh, so what you do for that is click on new, and then you can just add this as conversion linker. Click on tag configuration, and you can see it right here, conversion linker. This is all fine, right? From triggering, just select all pages, and then click save, and then that will save as your conversion linker. Now for the phone call, you wanna, again, click on a new tag, Google Ads phone call. Click on tag configuration. What you want to select now is select Google Ads, and then you want to select Google Ads um, calls from website conversion. So select that. This is again where you're going to add your phone number, right? Now for conversion ID, go back to Google Ads, take this conversion ID, paste this in here, and for conversion label, take this conversion label paste it in there. Now for triggering, you want the uh, tag to trigger on all pages. So just select all pages and there you go. You just click save. Uh, and now uh, when someone does, and we can just actually save this. Now when someone clicks on the ad, um, Google's gonna be tracking this. And what, what you, what you wanna make sure that you do not forget to click on is submit. 
So make sure you submit and you publish your new version. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You're going to have an error if you do not submit and publish that. So if you exit out of this, right? Now, if I go back into Google Ads, you want to click on next. Now it says you've set up your call Google Ads, conversion action and auto tagging was enabled. There is some important next steps, but um, none of this is important. And then you just click done. And there you have it. Now you have Google Ads being tracked uh, or phone calls uh, being tracked on Google Ads as a conversion option. Now someone does call uh, and they call the number that is listed on your site. Uh, in this case, it would be this number, for example. Google will track that call, they'll track the time, they'll track which ad triggered it, and you do have a lot more information uh, for um, Google ad tr call tracking in that regard. Anyways, uh, that's pretty straightforward. I just wanted to show you guys how to get that set up. If you did make it this far, thank you for watching. If you do have any questions about setting it up or you need help setting it up or you need help with Google ads, click the link below, book a call with me. Happy to take a look at your campaigns, answer any questions you have, and of course, see if there's any opportunity to work together. As always, guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.